everyone. Welcome to the Dakota Dome in Vermilion, South Dakota. We've got Missouri Valley football. There's the boom, and we are underway in Vermilion. Chance at a return here for Eleanor. Takes it at his own two-yard line. Got a seam on the outside across the 30 to the 40. Pushed out of bounds just shy of midfield at Wesley Eleanor. Threat in the passing game than they were through the first six weeks of the season. Bauman setting up a screen. Some room over there and some help in front of Travis Tice. Makes one man miss. He's going to get too near midfield, but still well short of the Dakota Bank. The offensive line traditionally a strength for you and I as Day goes to the air here. Sham Schnee. Tried to go up and get it. Falls incomplete. Schnee stop early. Maybe get some good field position here. Day looking to throw the whole way. Pressure coming. Steps up. Has a man over the middle. That's Wolf. First down out across the 20-yard line. And a gain of 19 yards. First and 10 from there. Play action here for Day. Plenty of time. Looking deep. Has a man. Caught. That's Morency. And it's all the way down. They don't break a lot. And they're expecting pass here as they come in with the nickelback. Play action for Day. Could go. And he goes to the end zone instead. And the tie. They strike on their opening possession. They put the linebacker in a tough position. Do I come up? By Cam Tinsdale. But not enough to keep Pryor out of the end zone. It's a drive that starts to Lane Pryor, the tight end. Matthew Cook on for the extra point. And he does not miss, though. That's his 108th line. Coyotes need to get to the 29 for a first down. Bauman, good protection, swinging it out to Tice. But lots of bodies there for you and I, and he's got nowhere to go. Day back to the air. Clearly, he is going to chuck the football a whole bunch here, Andre. Or at least that looks like the little bit during the week. Said it felt good the last couple of days. And 54 out there. And here's McShane right up the middle. And Coyotes yank him back time, but no flags come. And on replay, clear as day, he got the shoulder. But Day looking to hit another home run as Morency touchdown, North Yards. Sorry, gets inside of Dayron McKinney on the post route. This is twice now they've had success. And then having some success on the outside. Great pass, great catch. Dayron McKinney tries. Six yards and a touchdown, and this game is not even nine minutes old. <laughs> you can't start better than that. The right side here on third and eight for South Dakota from its own 22-yard line. Bauman, good protection, now throws into triple coverage, looking for Wes Elidor, the guy that's got another year of eligibility left, much to the chagrin of defenses across the valley as he goes right back to work. He's found prior three hits North Dakota. Can they do it here and prevent further damage? What a catch there on the far side of the field. That is for 280 yards per game, and they have certainly looked the part here in this first quarter. Day back to throw again. Looking for Schnee. Has him. Cuts it back inside. Schnee's got the 10 to the 5. Touchdown, Northern Iowa. Advantage of the two deep in this in this situation by running a lot of deep routes. Get out and throw a, a strike. But he had a lot of deep routes, and still, if you don't get pressure, and you're allowing wide receivers to make moves three. 120 consecutive makes on extra point. Fake the handoff this time. Now Parker Rickert makes the catch, but his knee was on the ground. Ball up to the 28-yard line. Bauman wants to run it. Try to get that 6-5 frame to the sticks. And he per game this season, and he's almost there. Not even 15 minutes in. This will help him get a little closer as he hits... Desmond Hudson over the middle. And he takes first quarter. Day continues to throw the football. And again, the middle is wide open. He finds his tight end. This is number 86. No of the ball right now. So that was the first time we could say that was great coverage by that Coyote secondary. And around here for McShane. He cuts it inside the five-yard line, ridden McShane down at about the four. The USD three-yard line. Dom Williams, the running back. He'll get it here. Nope, it's Day. Keeps it himself. Why not? Score on the ground as well. There, and as you mentioned, you're reading the end. If he falls down or shuffles down or steps down inside, get it it's into the end zone. See right there, 21. Cook out again, extra point is up and good. Four straight touchdown drives to, and a win there. That would have probably sealed the deal and gotten them in right oh, yeah, there. Easy. And now Aiden Bauman overshoots Carter Bell. It's picked off. 
And everything going right for you and I right Up the middle, here goes McShane. Dances to the outside, into the end zone, touchdown, you and I. It's McShane, and the onslaught continues. And so now you're in man coverage. He gets past the second level. Boom, makes that cut right there. The, the DBs have their backs turned, and now it's just a race to the end zone. And Matthew Cook knocks it through. And then see what happens. Jack Martins. Woof. Big hit there, and he dropped the football. We're looking. Exactly. That's how right? this first half has gone from you for you and I. Theo Day with his fourth touchdown pass of the half. They have been picking them apart, both zone and in man. Oh, they just dropped the football. I think Bauman got back on top of it. But just a bot at his own 21 yard line. Double clutches, keeps those eyes downfield, trying to find something. Lawrence is there. And the pass. Second and 11 here. Looking over the middle. And finds Schnee side on the line for South Dakota. We've seen that all day. Day looking to throw. It's incomplete as he was looking for Hudson. Go back to Lawrence. That should be enough as the Coyotes for the first time today going to move the sticks. And meanwhile, Lawrence continues to move the pods. Got away with one. Tried to set it up and finds Elidor. Shakes off a man. Elidor tackled down from behind, but he's in the. Not on the field on second and four from the 24. Going off tackle. Good cut there from Lawrence. It's a first down to the gain at running back to the left of Bauman. Looking for Gulbreth. Makes the catch. He's shy of the first down. Pressure coming. Bauman looking to the end zone. Wide open. J.J. Gulbreth. Touchdown. Edwin Dearman, the DB for the Panthers, just loses sight of him. This was the type of drive that they needed to have. Not only just moving the football. And Ogaba kicks it through. So the Oats. Booms, they'll run the football to run some clock. Here you go. Here's your play action pass. He's looking deep, looking for Morency. Flag comes in, and Morency makes the catch. Give it off to the running back right up the middle, and McShane all the way down inside the five, and you and I. This day gets under center. Play action. Look into the end zone. Touchdown, you and I. Yeah. Noah Abbott, the tight end. A fifth different touchdown catch. And Theo Day making his way up the leaderboard. He needed five guys and then cover in the back end, really protecting the middle of the field. So here's Theo Day looking to chuck it out first down. Over the middle, Logan Wolf makes the catch. One. Six of their last eight games and had this be their final impression. So Dom Williams just trucking his Dom way Williams forward down here, inside here, here, here. the 20. Home loss to Illinois State, a team that was two weeks ago still in the conversation. So they don't have a bad loss either. As Day tackled down there by Stephen Hillis. So far today, can they continue their run here? Williams now, a little trickery here. Looking to throw it. He wanted to go to Day, and the Coyotes snuffed it out. Stephen Hillis. Record. That is his 65th career field. And try to almost like setting a pick in basketball and see if somebody runs into it. Slow him down, if nothing else. Third and nine now. Bauman. Little wheel route there for Galbraith. It was a late come the next pro Yotes. Third down and three from the 41. Day steps up, fires. Completes that pass, and I think that is straight possession to start the third quarter. Wide open, Quan Hampton had a touchdown earlier. He's going to take this one down inside the 30-yard line. Williams, the deep man. Again, they go play action. Day under pressure. Ball is out, and South Dakota has a chance to pick this thing up, and they do early. They will not. Cook will kick it. And he will. They had a couple chunk plays, and they were able to get into the end zone. Give it off to Shamari Lawrence. Shamari Lawrence, Lawrence has run the football. Shamari Lawrence wide to the right side. 
Pressure coming on the blitz. Throw a little high for Lawrence. Makes one man miss and gets out. Here's Bauman on third and nine. Steps up in the pocket. Pressure coming. Has to drop it off short. It's well short. Day looking for Schnee. Wide open over the middle. And he's got a catch down inside the 25 yard. Six defensive backs in the game for the Yotes. McShane is wide open on the far side of the field. They they go to Dom Williams instead. He's try... wide open in the flats. Look for him. Cook has already hit from 36, and now he's got one from 30. 54 mark in the fourth quarter. Aiden Bauman and company start first and 10 at their own 40. He'll find Lawrence out of the backfield, and this guy has been the most That's active the guy on offense. Bauman steps up in the pocket, looking for J.B. on Phelps, and he has him. Good move after the catch from Phelps, and he'll take it down inside. Going to go quick. Didn't really get it off, but they give him the benefit of the doubt here. Now he's under pressure, looking for Phelps. That ball did just get in there in time. It's a good yard pickup, first and ten. Up the middle goes Lawrence. Good cut inside the five. Lawrence still going and down just shot. Tackle who comes in at 317. Try it again. This time Bauman is in. Touchdown, South Dakota. Looked pretty clear that he was in. There it is. Is in the end zone. I'm not sure. Okay, from that perspective, you can 380 yards and five touchdowns. Also had a rushing touchdown. Paint chips flying off helmets down there. <laughs> on the do any more damage, and it was just a matter of pain tolerance and getting out there with he, what he can. Here's Dunn on the keeper. Lowers the shoulder into Trey Jackson and carries. McShane in motion here. Dunn under pressure. Webb almost got him. Or Dunn, rather, just threw the game at right guard for USD. Played the last series out there as well. And now a run up the middle. There goes Shamari Lawrence out across the 45. Bauman looking to take a shot, and it's a little miscommunication there. It's a pretty well played game in that regard. Here's Jenkins, and he's going to get down really close to that first down marker. I think it's with 593 in total offense. And again, a ton of that came in the conference, and it was easy to see why. He already had that established coming into the day. He certainly helped his case.